There are several common pitfalls in complex problem solving. Some of the most frequent are failing to identify the problem, failing to determine the right solution, people problems, and failing to consider constraints. Failing to correctly identify the problem is likely to come from determining what the problem is before you've even gathered all the facts. So slow down the problem solving process and be sure to discuss and evaluate all relevant factors. Another issue is when a problem is recognized, but then it's not defined in terms of its effects, consequences, or cause. Recognition does little toward understanding and solving. If someone encounters the same problem without knowing any other substantial information, they may not even realize that it already happened. The second common pitfall is failing to determine the right solution. This can have a lot to do with a lack of fundamental knowledge or expertise. For example, you may not know what errors were made, how certain business processes work, how decisions are made, where responsibilities lie, or even the primary business goals. Without this knowledge, you may not be able to come up with the solution you need. Take the Grameen Danone Foods Limited Joint Venture, for example. It tried to help malnourished children in Bangladesh by creating a high-nutrition yogurt for them to eat. However, in doing so, the venture jumped to a solution without understanding the problem, distribution of affordable, nutritious food to poor communities first. Because of that, it didn't have the positive impact intended because most of the yogurt went to middle-class buyers instead. Even if you correctly identify the problem, you might think it can't be fixed. That's because you're not aware of your own capabilities to solve it. Consider what you're capable of, then investigate alternative solutions. Also, be willing to explore other tools and capabilities beyond your own. This might even mean getting rid of outdated equipment or processes, overhauling and modernizing operations, and creating whole new ways of doing business. The third common pitfall is people problems. These cover the broad spectrum of human behavior. Some people's egos may keep them from taking responsibility for the problem. They may feel personally hurt because they were blamed for causing it. It's also possible that they want to avoid the issue altogether. There can also be unhealthy competition between teams or a complete lack of consensus. When multiple people have these negative attitudes, it can seem like the problems may never get solved. The last major pitfall in solving complex problems is failing to consider constraints, and most issues have them to some degree. These are the real factors that can make the solution difficult, if not impossible, to achieve, and usually have to do with limitations in financial or human resources. Other constraints could involve your organization's limited capacities, like a lack of training, limited equipment or facilities, bad business practices, and dysfunctional systems that can't handle business tasks. The best organizations are aware of these pitfalls and are committed to avoiding them. They have a systematic, consistent method for carefully observing a problem. Doing this creates an open atmosphere where divergent views can be accepted and evaluated. This also helps them avoid directing blame. You've completed these lessons on generating solutions. You now have the know-how to come up with fixes that will bring speedy resolutions to whatever problems you and your organization are being confronted with.